As you know, the left has made victimhood status the most desirable thing in the world right now, and they have coincidentally commandeered it all for themselves. If you're gay, dark-skinned, or female, there are entire academic faculties and government departments dedicated to helping you realise how downtrodden you are by the racist heterosexual patriarchy. But people who subscribe to this rubbish are actually the lucky ones. Virtually all of the media, academia and government support their struggle to raise themselves out of this swamp of bigotry and succeed in life against overwhelming odds. But that's nothing compared to what people like you and I have to go through. We have to get out of bed every day knowing that we will be bombarded by the hallucinatory illusions of the victimhood industrial complex, telling us audacious falsehoods that a blind man could see are untrue. Australia was brutally invaded rather than peacefully settled? Wrong. White Australians committed genocide on their Aboriginal brothers and sisters? Wrong again. Aboriginal people need a separate voice to Parliament because they have different needs to other human beings. Wrong. Women are paid less than men. Wrong. Women can have a penis. Wrong. Masculinity is toxic. Wrong. Carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere is altering the weather. Wrong. The planet is boiling. The polar ice caps are melting. The oceans are rising. All wrong. Diversity is strength. Wrong. It's actually a weakness and probably a fatal one. COVID is a lethal virus that requires entire populations to stay indoors. Wrong. mRNA vaccines are not, in, not only better than natural immunity, they are also safe and effective. Nah, wrong. And the best one of all, no matter which of these erroneous assertions you dare to question, if you do, you are, of course, racist. It all makes so much sense to leftists. I could go on, but you get my point. Having to put up with this rubbish makes us the real victims here. But we don't claim it because we are too busy paying off our homes, raising our kids, and generally just happily getting on with life. 